Hey, superstars, it's your best friend Scott, and I'm playing with my laser robot again. So that means it's time for another layered parallax painting. This time for my BFF, Eddie the Great, who, as his name implies, is uh, great. Um, I'm very excited to get around to doing this one. Eddie requested a Harvey Haddix piece, and not only does Harvey here have a great story, but he's got a great face, and this should be a lot of fun to paint. First, I want to talk about Eddie. Eddie and I started our channels right around the same time, and we've been pretty close because of that. We even have sort of parallel collecting habits. We both are into autographs and vintage and quirky stuff, and our hometown teams, and very specific colors of painter's tape. And a lot of you that know Eddie also know that he's gone through some hard luck of his own lately, but Eddie wouldn't want me going on and on about that. Um, just know, Eddie, that you are loved, my friend, and we eagerly await your return to YouTube when you're ready. So like I mentioned, Eddie likes quirky stuff and he loves Harvey Haddix. It's nice doing pieces of really famous superstars like Hank Aaron and Ken Griffey Jr. But I also appreciate these kind of uh, off the wall subjects too. Harvey is most famous for losing the best game ever pitched. It was May 26, 1959. And uh, now that I think about it, I should have released this video on May 26, but I'm not that smart. Um, you can just stop watching and watch this again in a couple weeks if you want. I guess, um, where was I? Oh, oh yeah, uh, Harvey was pitching in Milwaukee against the Braves, and that day he was the greatest pitcher ever, throwing a perfect game for 12 innings, but unfortunately, Harvey's Pirates sprinkled in 12 hits that day, but couldn't score. And then came that faithful bottom of the 13th inning. Felix Mantilla reached on an error by Don Hoke, Harvey's perfect game was gone, but he still had that no-hitter going. Eddie Matthews then bunted Mantilla to second, Harvey then intentionally walked Hank Aaron, hoping for a double play, and Joe Adcock didn't get the memo because he hit a walk-off home run, sort of. There was some confusion and Hank Aaron never crossed the plate as he went straight to the dugout and Adcock was only credited with a double. But in any case, it was still a stunning turn of events and Harvey, who had pitched brilliantly for 12 innings, had lost. But everybody loves a lovable loser, right? The following year, the Pirates beat the New York American League team in the World Series, probably in honor of Eddie. And Harvey was credited with two wins in that series, including the deciding Game 7, where Bill Mazeroski hit the World Series walk-off home run. And that particular game has been called the greatest World Series game ever played. Now, no disrespect to Joe Carter, but the Pirates beating the New York team is probably cooler considering they hadn't won a World Series since 1909. Granted, Harvey didn't have a ton to do with the outcome, but he was credited with the win nonetheless, so he might not have won the greatest game ever pitched, but he did win the greatest World Series game ever played. So this piece was a case of Scott's gonna do whatever Scott wants to do. Eddie had originally asked me for a marker doodle, but knowing Eddie wanted a Harvey Haddix piece, I picked up a Harvey Haddix autographed index card about a year ago with this in mind. And I know Eddie likes my parallax pieces and I know Eddie collects autographs, so I was fairly certain Eddie wasn't gonna have a problem with the free little upgrade. He did deserve it. I'm pretty much the Bill Mazeroski in this situation, hitting the home run to give Eddie the win. I keep telling you guys that I've got this big ego, but you didn't believe me. Uh, let's get that autograph in there. Look at that. I love these pieces. They're so much fun. 
and we're done. So it's time for those beauty shots. I'm very, very happy with how this came out. Thank you, Eddie, for trusting me to do this one. And more importantly, for being a good friend. Sorry, I don't always follow directions, but I didn't think you'd mind. And uh, I hope you love it. Of course, thank you guys for watching. And now you can go find a better video to watch and we'll see you real soon.